Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss constructions under loci. In constructions under loci, we find the point of intersection of two or more loci under given conditions. Let us now try to find a point A which is equidistant from two points P and Q which are 3 centimeters apart and also the point A is at a distance of 1.5 centimeters from the straight line QR and angle PQR be equal to 40 degrees. Let us see how we can do this construction. Before that, let's find out the conditions given for the construction. So we have to find the point A. And this point A is given as equidistant from the two points P and Q. And P and Q are 3 centimeters apart. So this is one condition given to us. That is, the point A is equidistant from the points P and Q. Now the next condition given to us is that, that this point A is at a distance of 1.5 centimeters from the straight line QR and angle PQR is given as 40 degrees. So the second condition is that the point A is at a given distance from the straight line QR. Let us now start with the construction and for this we form a circle sets of construction. So, first of all, we are given that the points P and Q are 3 centimeters apart. So, we draw a straight line PQ equal to 3 centimeters. This is PQ of measure 3 centimeters. Next we have angle PQR is of measure 40 degrees. So in the next step, at the point Q, we make angle PQR equal to 40 degrees. So this is angle PQR of measure 40 degrees. Now let's see the first condition given to us. It says that the point A which we have to find out is equidistant from the two points P and Q. We already know that the locus of a point equidistant from two given points is the right bisector of the straight line joining the two given points. So, according to the first condition, the point A is equidistant from the two given points P and Q. So to find the point A, which satisfies this first condition, we will draw the right bisector of PQ. And so the point A would lie on the right bisector of PQ. So in the next step, we draw the right bisector of the line joining the two given points P and Q, that is, PQ. So let this XY 
we will write by sector of PQ. So the point A would lie on this right bisector XY. Now the second condition given to us says that the point A is at a distance of 1.5 centimeters from the straight line QR. And we know that the locus of a point at a given distance from a fixed straight line is a pair of straight lines parallel to the fixed straight line at the given distance from the fixed straight line. So as we have that the point A is at a distance of 1.5 centimeters from the straight line QR, so we will draw a pair of straight lines parallel to QR which are at a distance of 1.5 centimeters from QR. Then in the next step we have at point Q we draw SQT perpendicular to QR cutting off QS equal to QT equal to 1.5 centimeters. So we have drawn this SQT perpendicular to QR and we have cut off QT and QS equal to 1.5 centimeters on SQT. Now we can draw a pair of straight lines parallel to QR at a distance of 1.5 centimeters from the points S and T. So in the next step we have at the points S and T we draw straight lines each parallel to QR so we have drawn Tx dash parallel to QR and it is at a distance of 1.5 centimeters from QR. Also, Sy dash is parallel to QR at a distance of 1.5 centimeters and let Tx dash intersect Xy, the perpendicular bisector of PQ at the point A and also Sy dash intersect Xy at point say A dash. Then these points A or A dash are the required points. Thus we have A or A dash are the required points which satisfy the given conditions that is the point A or A dash is equidistant from the points P and Q and also they are at a distance of 1.5 centimeters from the straight line QR. Let us do another construction in which we need to find a point A which is equidistant from OP and OQ which are the arms of angle POQ of measure 60 degrees and also The point A moves such that it is always 3 centimeters from the point Q. Now let us see what all conditions are given to us for this construction, we are given that the point A which we have to find out is 
equidistant from OP and OQ. So the first condition is it is equidistant from the two arms of the angle POQ of measure 60 degrees and also we have that the point A is equidistant from the fixed point Q. Since it's given to us that the point A moves such that it is always 3 centimeters from the point Q. Now to do this construction, we will follow certain steps of construction. First of all, we will draw the angle POQ of measure 60 degrees. So, in the first step, we make angle POQ of measure 60 degrees. This is angle POQ of measure 60 degrees. So according to the first condition, the point A is equidistant from the two arms of angle POQ. That is, the point A would be equidistant from OP and OQ. And we know that the locus of a point equidistant from the two intersecting straight lines is the bisector of the angle between the given intersecting straight lines. So OP and OQ are two intersecting straight lines which are intersecting each other at this point O. And if we construct the angle bisector of angle POQ, then the point A would lie on the angle bisector of angle POQ. According to the first condition given to us. Then in the next step, We bisect the angle POQ. So this OX is the angle bisector of angle POQ. So the point A would lie on OX. Now according to the second condition, we have that the point A is equidistant from the fixed point Q and it is at a distance of 3 cm from the point Q and we already know that the locus of a point equidistant from a fixed point is a circle. So to find the locus according to the second condition given, in the next step, with Q as center and 3 centimeters as the radius, we construct a circle. So we have drawn this circle taking Q as the center and 3 cm as the radius. So the locus of the point A equidistant from the point Q and distance of 3 cm is this circle that we have drawn. Now let this point of intersection of OX and this circle be A and this point be A dash. So the point A is equidistant from OP and OQ. Then this point A dash is also equidistant from OP and OQ. Then point A is equidistant from Q. And point A dash is also equidistant from Q. Hence we can say that the points a 
और a डैश आर दी रिक्वायर्ड पॉइंट सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन डू दी कंस्ट्रक्शन अंडर नो काय अकॉर्डिंग टू दी गिवन कंडीशन सो दिस कंप्लीट्स दी सेशन होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस कॉन्सेप्ट